Uh, Coach, talk about your uh, preseason so far. It's been good preseason. We, we only have 49 guys out total. Um, small freshman class. The um, But energy has been real good. You know, we're trying to work hard to improve on, especially what our weaknesses were from last year. Uh, morale's high for the guys. And uh, I'm happy so far. You know, I'm more excited to get out there tonight and start hitting a little bit and start figuring out what we really have. So Yeah, I, I think um, usually, especially when we talk about leadership, we talk about Isaac Withrow. He was the captain last year as a as a junior, and he broke his ankle um, in pregame warm-ups during South Charleston. Pretty freak injury um, from a leadership and a football standpoint. That hurt us a lot. And also um, Ethan Copeland, we think, uh, you know, from a leadership standpoint, he's, you know, he's been a regular for several years. And Ethan and Isaac are kind of our kind of our battering rams. They're both 220 pounds, fullback linebackers, and they both do a really good job. Um, Jacob Lewis will be a four-year starter, and last year he didn't get very many touches, and that's one of the things that we've uh, been thinking about this year. And, um, you know, Jacob certainly leads by example on the field. And then um, I think if people think about, you know, what makes you tick is your quarterback, obviously. And I think one of the best decisions I made last year and what was a disappointing season was when I started Andrew Huff in the middle of the year on. And I feel like him with five games, on, five games under his belt as a starter and what he has um, done to improve this offseason, I think obviously your quarterback has to be a leader of your offense for sure. And I think he's really ready to lead. So, you know, I think that those four guys – um, up front, we lost four of our five starters, and Thomas Manier is our only returning starter. He'll be a junior. He's going to move over to center for us, and he's done a solid job. And you know, we're going to have four new starters up front, and uh, probably three of them are going to be underclassmen. We may only have one senior up front, so we we need those guys to step up, and they're doing a good job so far in camp. Um, so I, th I think that's our key above anything else is what happens up front. So. Yeah, the, the, you know, what we prioritized last year is really during the season we had a meeting um, with our boosters and some individuals in the community and we talked about what we thought was missing and we knew that we needed to upgrade our weight room and we definitely went from, uh, we, we think we have probably the most functional high school football weight room in the area, no question. Um, and that was finished end of February. Our guys always have worked hard in the weight room. I think we can work smarter now because, you know, everything's lined out so that we can we can kind of maximize our time in there and always be working efficiently. And then uh, it was completed the beginning of June. We turfed our practice field, um, which was a small fraction of cost compared to what it would be for the game field. And, you know, that gives us time, you know, nights like tonight when we're going to go out and practice, even though it's we've probably gotten a couple inches of rain in the last three or four hours, and we can go out and we can, we can have a consistent surface. And our practice field last year especially was really bad. I knew that we had to do something last August and it had rained quite a bit and the grass was already dead and it was real lumpy and um, we decided, uh, I just said, you know, something's got to give and, and sodding a, a small space like that, we would just still tear that up. So, you know, it worked out very, very well with the turf, I think, and I think that turf will, that turf will be there 10 to 15 years, so it should work out very well for us. You know, we, we are, we play a tough schedule, we play in a tough conference. And everybody wants to say, oh, don't you wish you were double A? If you were double A, you'd be better and all that. And I always tell everyone, I don't even think about that. We don't talk about that. We are what we are, and we, we've struggled to be consistent. Um, our goal is to win more than we lose, you know. And um, with our schedule, if we do, we'll be good because our schedule's tough. We have 10 MSAT games this year, even though you're only required to have six. Um, so we definitely have our work cut out for us, but you know what? That's that that's the challenge that it is so we um we're gonna be physical and we think we're gonna step up and you know punch people in the mouth so to speak not not literally but figuratively and um we're gonna we're not gonna be anybody's tough out that's for sure you know starting off starting off on the right foot means starting off with a win and and if we can start off with a win uh you know starts things off positive and you know just like it did for us two years when we beat Beckley that first game I like that the Hurricane game's the first game because it's a you know it's a it's a big rivalry game and you know the records don't matter and shoot it doesn't really matter much what we do after that game um, but you know we have our work cut out for them we know that you know with Tinsley coaching them they're an excellent football team so we think that um, you know we'll, we'll work hard to try and hang around and, and hang with them.